plays a blinder on his teacher, The Simpsons, and it's a double at six. But right now, though, unwrap a deal or no deal Christmas, Scrooge or Santa is the question. <laughs> Deal. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Scrooge or Santa. Deal or no deal at Christmas. Actually, Santa's workshop. Here I am. I'm Noel, King Elf, and these are my elf helpers. We make the toys for the children at Christmas, and we wrap them up. Who is it who's in charge of wrapping? This is absolutely useless. How many times have I got to tell you it's meant to be a surprise present for children? Happy if it was you. Hello. You'll be staying behind afterwards. I'm sorry about that. We'll try and we'll try and smarten things up a bit. But of course, the most important thing is the game play. If a player manages to get to five box, they get the opportunity to come over here and possibly find the Santa. If they find the Santa, then they get a wonderful holiday and then they get the chance to go on and get an offer after every single box they open. But if they find the Scrooge, unfortunately, the horrible banker... <laughs> gets the opportunity to look inside the player's box and then the only good news is the player is guaranteed a swap. Now I think the banker may have made a fundamental error this year because behind these boards there's one Scrooge and two Santas. Has he given the advantage far too much to the player? All will be revealed. Let's play Scrooge or Santa with these guys. It's now your chance to improve the elf of your finances. Harry! Yeah! Come on, Harry. Take the workshop walk of wealth. Okay. Thank you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you. John Harry Harrison mm -hmm. from Hull, a computer operator. But I mustn't mention the F word. <laughs> forklift. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, what, what was all that with forklifts? Well, I'm, uh, <laughs> when I first passed my test, I, um, I crashed on the first day, I think, it through a wall. <laughs> But it got better. It got better than this. Mm. Yeah, my next job, because uh, I did leave there after taking the wall out. <laughs> went, to, <laughs> went, to, uh, went to another job where at the end of a Friday night, about five minutes ago, um, another forklift driver was coming along and decided to uh, give me a little wave. And while they give me a wave, I give him one. Stuck my foot out when he ran over my foot. <laughs> Forklift just ran, I sort of just remember it running up my leg and it took my hairs off my leg and broke my foot. <laughs> but you're a nightmare when it comes to anything with wheels. I mean, the bicycle story is unbelievable. You built your own bike yeah. and the first day what fell off? <laughs> it was like, like the handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> the top of them, uh, just was, I could feel them going loose and I turned the corner and then they just went in my hands and flew over the top. <laughs> so who have we got here? Light and my lives. Yeah, this is Owen. It's my son. He's 11. Proper hero he is. Trophies. Yeah, yeah top goal scorer. Um, every season, top goal scorer is amazing. Um, yeah, and that's Amelia. That's my daughter. She's five. Um, she's singing, all singing, all dancing. She just started uh, doing dancing lessons, and 
I think one day she'll probably be a star and hopefully Owen will be as well and fulfil their dreams. I hope so. Good paternal pride there. Yeah. And uh, do I deduce from that that actually you'd like some money to be able to give them an even better life? Oh, for sure. I mean, um, since um, I've been divorced, really, I've been living at home with my father for nearly two years, so I was left with a little bit of uh, debt, shall we say, after the divorce. And they've had to sleep in a bedroom with me, so um, somewhere for them to live. And yeah, good. Yeah, well, get them going. We call it the Dream Factory because yeah. actually dreams can come true. Yeah. You know, big time. Israel's game. Thirty-three thousand pounds. I bet you'd be pleased with that. Oh, delighted. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Are you happy to move on and I try and get you to the money? Yeah. Let's Good. Go. Ari, I need you please to confirm that you chose box seven at random before the game began. I certainly did. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who sealed all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Do you have a Christmas system? I certainly do. Thank no. goodness for that. <laughs> Harry, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, banker. And Merry Christmas to you, banker. I eat filled with a Christmas spirit, Harry. Oh, excellent. Under the desk, there's a mystery prize. May I look now? A gold envelope. With a question mark on it. Fantastic. Thank you, banker. Right, what he said is... If you manage to hit any one of his power five, you know, the one yeah. P and the next yeah. four, the gift in there, the Christmas gift, you can give to any one of the players that you wish. Brilliant. Come on, let's see your board and good luck. Let's go on. All right. Just one favour from the players, please. I've just got this really bad thing about I hope it's a blow, so nobody say I hope it's a blow, please. Just don't say it because it just... Puts me right off. Okay, right. remember that, everybody. We're going to enforce that very strictly. And we've got this extra gift. So, I hope it's blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's all right. All right. First one's going to be Peggy, number one. Peggy. Go on, go on. If it's one of the power five for the banker. this at the end of the round. Well done. It is guaranteed now. I think the bank has made a terrible mistake this week. I think he's going to turn out to have uh, his generosity backfire on him. Second bite. Yep. Number 14. Tina, please. Good luck. Three grand. That's great. Number two, George, please. Good luck, Harry. Thank you, George. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Number 12, Vicky. Good luck, Harry. But at all. 21, Karma. All right, Karma Mile. That was fine, thank you. Yeah, good. <laughs> good man. Yeah, right. Oh, what a round. What a great opening round. One red, four blues. There you go, you hit one of the bankers. Power five, you hit it in the very first box, yeah. and uh, there's a mystery prize here. Brilliant. Uh, which you now have the opportunity to give to one of your fellow elves. Who do you think should receive it? I'm going to go with my man who I get chains with every day for about three weeks. <laughs> Freddy. Freddy. <laughs> Oh, you look 
fine. Take, you look like Steptoe. Didn't he look like Steptoe? I never dreamt that it was going to be me, and that's true. That's all right. All right, Freddie. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe you should say that after you found out exactly <laughs> what you've got. I meant it. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> What's it say? You have one and eight foot tarpaulin. Can't believe. Thank you, Harry. Yeah, no thank you very much, and thank you to the banker. Anybody you could pass, yeah. pass that on to? You got grandchildren or anything? Well, yeah, but they're a bit. I got one thirteen, Ben. Yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah, that. Right. Excuse very, me. Very, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ah, the, Freddie, the banker's saying congratulations on your tripolian. <laughs> <laughs> He says, I hope you enjoy bouncing on it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> what an incredible opening round. Well done. Thank you. What? Oh, thank you. Your offer for that box right now, 11,500. Oh, great start. Great start. But uh, with a board like that. It's, um, I'm certainly not one to go on the first offer, so I'll have the question, please, no. Eleven and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Harry. Number 15, Beth, please. Good luck. Thank you. You are not going to be our first male quarter millionaire. Oh, oh, oh. Gee, oh, he had his heart set oh, on that. Yeah. Well, can I point out that uh, this still is got still a fantastic board. You have got yeah. a yeah. sensational board. Yeah. You're not going to win a quarter of a million, but there's a lot of money there, Harry. It's a lot of money for your family there. Yep. Number 16, has please. Okay, has. Can we come back with a low one? Hopefully the 1P. Yeah! Okay, remember, we're playing Scrooge or Santa. Mm. If you get to five box in live play, there are two Santas over there. You get the Santa you're guaranteed a fantastic holiday and also the opportunity to proceed one box at a time and it changes everything harry so forget about the quarter of a million going you are in a very strong position and you could win a mince pie <laughs> come back after the break we're playing scrooge have to do that once. Thank well, you. That's the end of that. It's looking good. It's looking good. You took a real visible hit with that quarter million. But it's feeling okay. A blue now and I think everything's hunky-dory. Yep. One P that'll counter the quarter mil. Well, I know the person who wants to give me the one P kiss the most. So, number ten, Sanjay. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we always say we make dreams come true here, yeah. Sandra. I hope it is, mate. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Come on up. 50 grand, right. another one of the power five gone. We've got a on the Eleven and a half was a great opening off uh, a round where you take 50,000 is always going to be a knock, but that round you also took the quarter million. This is not going to be good news. <laughs> He's just called you Dennis Healy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not wrong. <laughs> Side 
for him is that you've knocked off £300,000 of value from that board. So your offer is £3,000 now. Oh, second offer, that's a crash. Yeah. From 3000 the only way it's up with that board, so you can ask me the question, though. No, OK, £3,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Harry. You hadn't got a system, but you seem very, very clear as to where you want to go. I, I just always felt I would go with feelings, and um, boxes seem to stand out. Yeah. And uh, every one stood out for me, and that's the way I just, just the way I've gone. They've just stood out, like Jardy number seventeen has stood out there. So that's where I'm going. Tough looking, isn't he? He's he's great. He's head of security here in the workshop. <laughs> Nothing goes missing as long as Jardy's here. Good luck, Harry. Yeah, thank you. Mend in his ways. Lynn, number five, please. You've been a fantastic dad. Very welcoming to everybody. You'll be missed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Freddie number 18, please. Oh, Freddie, he's, uh, he's already thinking about what he's going to do with I'll his tripolian. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hope it is? What? <laughs> what, what you, what, I'm not saying. <laughs> you want a one P kiss? No, uh, it's 15,000. So let's have a look at that nice little block work there. Are we feeling okay? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hello. Oh, he's now beginning to think that maybe you're sufficiently determined. It'd be a good idea that you can't get to five box. He certainly does not want you having the opportunity to proceed one box at a time. Mm. Mm, well, stop him then. I'm sure this is going to stop you, but nine and a half thousand. A lot better. Climbing back. It's much better than three thousand. It is. Um, and it's probably bang on for as far as an offer goes. It's probably just right. So, yeah, ask me the question now. Nine and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Harry. Time to wipe out the death box. So the longer you leave it, the worse it gets. So number 22, Abby, please. Good luck, Harry. I'm gonna miss you. Here it comes. Is it death or life? Oh, it got a gasp. It's sort of middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. It's in the middle. What's the next one to jump out? <laughs> it was Kaz, number six. Got a message to daddy, mate. Oh, oh my word, 20,000 and 75,000. We are in no doubt that you've come here to most certainly change your life and change the life of your son and daughter. How old are the kids? Eleven and five. Eleven and five. Quite clearly, it would be great to have some independence. Scrooge or Santa can change everything. Yep. And this year, he's been very unwise. There's two chances for a Santa. There's only one Scrooge over there. You don't want to miss this. You could get a holiday for the kids as well. See you shortly. He's 
no good at. He's no good at driving forklift trucks. He's no good at building bicycles. What he is good at is family matters. And you really, really want to win some decent money here to change the life of your son and daughter. Everybody wants you to do well. At eight box, those four reds would be really good news for you. So the next one has to be a blue. What's popping out at you now? It's uh, number four, Franny. Franny, you just popped out. Come Bye. on, Franny. Good luck. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, yeah. that's the eight box that you wanted. Mm. Much better. Yep. Yep. Two of your power five. Two of his. Hello. <laughs> yes, yes, actually, that's true. He calls it a saving grace, that one, Pete. It certainly was. You think that, it, <laughs> that even with... Two Santas and one Scrooge, Harry's the kind of guy who'll hit the Scrooge. <laughs> oh, he crashes forklifts, falls off his bike. Always oh, saying, you're plain unlucky, Harry. <laughs> he lost, he lost the 75. He's saying he will only go down a little bit. Only a little bit. 8,000. He's docked you fifteen hundred pounds. Can he stop you with eight grand? He's not going to stop me now. Just uh, weighing up the bars. No, he asked me the question now. Eight thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. We are going. Into the First, number 13. 13? Yep. All right, H. Give us one of those blues. Good luck, Harry. Oh, no, no, no. The five box has been discovered. A hundred thousand is out of the game. Oh, Now it's of paramount importance that you make it two blues. Bell, number eight, please. Oh, Bell, it really has to be a blue. Good luck, Harry. Thank you. This is a really important box in your life. Come on, we need a smile and we need a blue. Holly, number three. Ah, she's always smiling. Holly, can you give us 50p, £10 or £750? I'll certainly do my best. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, feeling better after that hit. Yeah. Hello. Well done, Harry. You've made it to five box. And you now get the Santa or Scrooge opportunity. We have a fantastic holiday for two from icelolly.com available for you. There are two Santas here and just one Scrooge. So all I'm asking is for you to say mince pies, carrots or sherry. And then I will pull the seal and hopefully you will find... Santa. You then have the opportunity to go over to the sleigh, to Santa's sack, and take out one of the red boxes, bring it back to the table, and I will then tell you about the holiday that you've got. Unfortunately, if you find the Scrooge, as the banker has predicted you will, he gets a chance to look inside your box. But again, it's not all over, because the swap is guaranteed. So, what are you feeling like? Carrots, mince pies, or sherry? Mince pies, please. You'd like a mince pie? 
might tell you. I can't see it, so I'm going to go by their reaction. I really hope this is going to be the Santa. So the banker was totally wrong. Go and pull one out. Okay. It's a sack full of holidays. Come back over here and I'll tell you exactly what you've got. <laughs> we find out how much your box is worth. There we go. Holiday for two to Spain. Yeah. Holiday for two to Spain. And most significantly, as you realise, you get, if you want, because you might take this deal, but you get the opportunity to go forward one box at a time. Hello? Oh, <laughs> just said, well, I've forgotten how much I hate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, you came up with that idea. Right, this is the power, Santa or Scrooge. Normally, you take out the 100,000, the offer plummets. He's actually sticking. £8,000 is the value of box seven. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's still all right, but I've uh, got my heart set on at least going one more box, so you can definitely ask me the question now. OK. Yeah. Harry. £8,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> I wish you luck here, Harry. Yeah. Obviously, we're looking for a blue to come out. If it has to be red, 5,000 still keeps you very much in fulfilling the dream territory. Body, my mate. 20. We're going to get an offer right after this. We don't want it to be the top of the game. We want it the bottom of the game. Flash a blue, Bodie. Yeah. Opportunity. Hello. No, we can't stop now. We're enjoying <laughs> ourselves. Now, what valuation on seven? Thank you. Ten thousand. You'll buy your box for ten grand. Because it's there, it's um, it sticks out like a sore thumb because uh, they offer, but. At one box at a time, if I take out that £10, it's just, that's it, me, sorted. So I'm definitely going to be ready for the question. £10,000, mm. deal or no deal? It's no deal. I thought so. Can you find the £10? Can you find the £10? I didn't plan on doing this, <coughs> but I've left the three big numbers in my life. Number 11's always been my lucky number. Number 19 is Owen's birthday, and number 9 is my birthday. I don't know why I've done it, but they haven't stood out to me until now. So the first one I'm going with is my birthday, number 9. So you are hoping your and birthday is going to produce a tenner. All right, Pommy. <sighs> Tremendous amount riding on this. Go on, Pommy. Deliver a blue. Oh! Oh, oh, don't do anything. That was really rude. Come on. Oh, hang on. Why should he choose another box? That one's got the 35,000 in. <laughs> you don't know that any more than we do. Oh, you horrible man. He's saying, don't go for your own birthday. You're making a massive error. He phoned up just to, uh, just to be horrible. Oh, has he set you thinking? Yeah, do you know what? Um, when I watch it, when things like that happen, they just have an amazing coincidence of being right. Oh. Uh-oh. Number nine. Number nine. We're back with you, Pommy. Come on. Don't. He's predicted we're going to see something horrible. Oh. 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 
for the box chortle chortle 2000 it's time to find the centre and go where I was going to go when I was about to change my mind so uh, yeah ask me the question no 2000 pounds deal or no deal no deal We can still have a confident swagger about this game. Yeah. If you can find ten pounds. <laughs> Come Stephen, number eleven. Going with Steve. Yeah, it's my lucky number. It's your lucky number, so you're really calling upon your lucky number to give you an all red finish. Yep. Steve? Good luck, Harry. Give us a tenner. first place. That's going to haunt you for a while, Harry. Oh, forever. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's saying congratulations, Harry. It turns out you're not so unlucky after all. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. He's, he's saying it with the money as well. Uh, your offer for the box now, 7,200. Yeah. Good. That's pretty good going. Almost the average. They're all, they're all great figures. It's all, you know, it will... I mean, I passed my driving test in the summer. It's about time I got a car, and that'll change our lives. Um, being able to pick the kids up instead of getting a bus, it will change my life, so... So I'm ready for the question, now. Harry, £7,200. Deal or no deal? No deal. He's very touched by the fact that um, five thousand pounds is going to make a big difference in your life. Ten thousand, quite clearly, a lot more. So please, Noel, ask him the question. Mm. Harry, swap or no swap? No swap. No swap. Oh. You thought nineteen would stay to the end. Harry, this moment never changes for me. When somebody plays a game as you have, I am willing this to be the largest sum of money. You've been brilliant when you've been over there, uh, and you've opened up your heart, and you've let us into your life. Harry, I really hope this is £10,000. <laughs> Oh, yes. Could you please open 19 for her first box opening? <laughs> Completes the game and reveals the final. Come over now. So, how are you feeling? Well, well, that, that was a, 
perfect for Christmas, a real happy ending. Well, I think the reaction of your fellow elves says absolutely everything. You've been a very popular player, and um, I love it when we really help people's lives, and clearly this is going to be oh, a superb be. Christmas Definitely. for you. Yeah. Harry, I'm so, so pleased that it is £10,000.